What's up, Anafin X? Tech Fanatic here from Ultimate or BlackSpot.com. With the Galaxy S3 T Mobile, I'm be doing a nice round review of Wicked. And this is a really cool one. It's probably the only only one that I actually seen that's um a, it comes with a really nice theme and theme and all that. So let's just go and look in the status bar and let me turn on some of these things. So as you can see, it is blue. Let's actually zoom in so you get a better look at that. But as you can see, it has all the blue um icons and logos. And you can actually change it to a red version as well. So that's awesome as well. And as you can see, you will see the transitions are very quick. So let me just go into contacts. So you can see the transitions are very quick to do. My files, see, the transitions are very, very quick. Now the loading may take a little while because my internet is has been acting a little funky. But as you can see, everything is very quick to load. Unlike the stock ice cream sandwich um, uh, ROMs. So let's go into about device and show you the version and everything if you are wondering about that. So we got 4.4, we got the baseband version, obviously it's on T999, that's 3.9s for T-Mobile, and the build number is version 5, the latest version so far. So let's, now, let's actually go back in settings and um, show you some of the options it offers. Now it's nothing like Cyganomod or AOKP that offers a ton of customization or anything like that. The main point of this is to get a nice blue or red effect, which I like. I really do prefer blue, it's just my uh, taste, but you can obviously install red as well on this one as well. So let's just go into dev options, wicked dev options, and you can actually change the animation and some other things as well. So you can change the show uh, CPU usage, so it'll show right there in the, um, you probably can't really uh, read that, but it'll show you all the usage and everything, and it'll stay wherever you go, even if you exit it, it'll always be there. So let me open like, uh, uh, my, <laughs> actually my Gmail. If I open up that, it'll still be there. So it'll just stay on the screen the whole time. So let's go back into Wicked Options. And you can use Strict Mode, uh, Show Pointer Locations, Show Touches, so Feedback. Um, you can also limit the background processes. So you can have one process at most, four, and the max is uh, four processes at most. You have a standard limit or no background process. So it's awesome as well, so you can limit it so it doesn't waste your battery, it doesn't make your phone go slow. Even though I really doubt it, that it will make it go slow on a Galaxy S3, which is a crazy phone. Um, crazy amount of um, specs and all that. So it's going to be awesome. Let's actually just change the transition animation scale. Let's make it to 10. I'm pretty sure that makes it go slow. So as you can see, it goes super slow. Let's go back in settings. And there you go, you got a very slow effect on the phone. Uh, every transition as well. So let's change it to 0.5 and it will be a lot quicker. So you can see it's super quick now. Let's go and change the window animation scale as well. Um, I have no idea what this does. 10. Okay, um, I actually don't see any difference with this. Window animation scale. Okay, well you can, you can obviously play around with it and figure out what it does. And you have a ton of more options of this. Now, like I said, nothing like AOKP or anything like that. But obviously you have one other nice feature that I really appreciate is that you have the data option right there. So unlike the stock Samsung ice cream sandwich, you always had to go into settings and turn on data or turn it off. But with this one, they actually added data right into the 14 widget toggle that it does offer. And like I said earlier, you do you can choose from a blue option and a red option. You have a vi wide variety of kernels. You have about five kernels to choose from and about five modems to choose from as well. Now, how do, you're probably wondering, where do I choose this? How do I get all these modems and kernels? Well, all you do is install and download the RAM onto your phone. Once you go into Clockwork Recovery and tap Install, it'll open a new type of page, a new type of application, and there you can choose a kernel if you want to install Google Now or if you don't want to install Google Now on it, so it will directly do it or if you want to install the kernel, what color you, you want your phone to be, the theme red or blue and all that, so it's awesome to do. I would highly recommend you try this out, this ROM out, no problems at all, uh, very stable, no um, crashes, no uh, force closes, nothing like that, no lags or anything. As you can see, it reacts very quickly. So as, as, as you can see, there's um, very quick transitions or you can even make it slower if you're that type of person who likes the transition effect more than the speed of the phone. So it's very, um, you can uh, preference uh, this phone very much with the kernels, modems, uh, transition effects, and Google Now as well. So thanks for watching guys, this was just a quick uh, review of Wicked RAM for your T-Mobile. Thanks for watching you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't for more RAM reviews for your Galaxy S3. And also be, I'll, I will also be doing for AT&T, um, Sprint, Verizon, all the US variants as well. So it's not just for T-Mobile exclusive, I'll be doing other ones as well. And give me that big old thumbs up right there if you're on YouTube. 
thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video enjoy your galaxy s3 and the wicked ram i would highly recommend you get the blue or the red version yeah